Welcome to the snapshot of The Game, Penetrating the Secret Society of Pickup Artists by Neil Strauss. Here, we'll explore the key insights from The Game. Introduction One day, journalist Neil Strauss received a phone call from an editor friend. A legendary guide on sleeping with women had been making the rounds on the Internet, and the editor wanted Strauss to rewrite it as a book. Strauss hesitated at first, as he was someone who'd always regretted his relationships, or lack thereof, with women, but he was intrigued enough to take a look. This began a life-changing plunge into the underground world of pickup artists. After spending two years with this new and unlikely crowd, he emerged with the following ten steps for successful pickups. 1. Select a target. 2. Approach and open. 3. Demonstrate value. 4. Disarm the obstacles. 5. Isolate the target. 6. Create an emotional connection. 7. Extract to a seduction location. 8. Make a physical connection. 9. Blast last-minute resistance. 10. Manage expectations. What follows is a detailed explanation of each step and how to make it work for you. Select a target. Beautiful, desirable women will almost always be found in a group. Approaching the lonely woman in any context smacks of desperation and sends off creepy vibes. When selecting a woman you're interested in, it's best to approach the group, feigning disinterest by winning over everyone else around her. By the end of the party, you can clench the deal by saying something like, If only I were straight, I'd be all over you in a heartbeat. By creating that anticipation, coupled with the lack of self-esteem you've encouraged by ignoring her all evening, she'll be ready to mold. When Strauss learned this technique from his mentor, a man known appropriately enough as Mystery, he didn't believe it. But then, Mystery took him to an exclusive nightclub to show his theory in action. He was amazed at just how easily it worked. The club was almost empty. It was still early. But Mystery had his eyes on a buxom blonde who was the date of none other than actor Scott Bayo. You might remember him as Chachi on Happy Days. Mystery worked his craft on Bayo and his small group of friends, knowing he wanted the blonde all along. He performed a few magic tricks to entertain them, ignoring the blonde's excitement every time. Mystery then roped in Strauss to keep Bayo and company occupied, while he put the moves on his target. As they left the club, Mystery flashed a napkin with the woman's phone number. But when Strauss decided to give it a go with a woman outside the club that same night, his lack of confidence got in the way of her apparent interest, and he aborted the mission. He still had a lot to learn. Approach and Open Strauss's mistake was not maintaining the approach and open. Part of that learning process involves picking up on what Mystery called indicators of interest, or IOIs. Even the slightest hint of an IOI, whether it's asking your name or if you're single, is a signal to move on to the next phase. This step can be further broken down into the following progression. Walk into any and every situation with a smile. Select your target and make your approach without hesitation. Here, a three-second rule applies. Anything beyond that, and you've already missed your chance. Next, have a few openers memorized to pull out at a moment's notice. These openers are designed to speak to the group. If there are any men in the group, work on them first. Delicately put down the woman you're interested in by making off-handed comments about her appearance or behavior. Use funny stories, magic tricks, or humor to win over the group. Then, find out how everyone knows each other to determine whether the woman is taken. If she isn't, isolate her from the group and focus on entertaining her. Ask her to tell you about herself to prove that she isn't just a pretty face. If she does, that's a clear IOI. Finally, stop talking and see whether she tries to initiate further conversation. If she doesn't, thank her for the nice chat and move on. If she does, ask if she would like to kiss you, to which she'll respond with a yes, in which case you move in. Or she may answer with a maybe, in which case you say, let's try it and see what happens. Or a flat no, in which case you brush it off. Didn't say we were going to, just thought you were thinking about something. There's nothing to lose. Only then do you ask her for her number, and this is crucial. Leave.
demonstrate value. When Strauss saw these theories in practice, he did everything he could to improve himself, correcting his posture, studying up on magic tricks, and practicing his lines. In this way, he was working toward demonstrating value. Armed with this knowledge, he put everything he'd learned into action by approaching a woman in an office depot he'd been eyeing all afternoon. Only after getting her phone number and looking her name up online did he realize that he'd just gotten in with the Playmate of the Year. But with this success came great anxiety as a feeling of inadequacy settled in. This feeling was so great that he never called her back. Strauss was determined to redeem himself by making these techniques second nature. Demonstrating value was one thing, but believing in that value was something else entirely. To do that, he had to learn to clear away any obstacles. Disarm the Obstacles Neutralizing opposition, rather self-created or imposed from the outside, is impossible without knowing how to adapt. In other words, be prepared for anything. Much of this is a learning process, and you aren't going to get it right away. Look at every obstacle as a chance to explore something new and exciting and add another nuance to your repertoire. To effectively exploit obstacles, you must learn to be a great listener. In becoming a great listener, you not only demonstrate value, but also pick up on IOIs much more quickly, allowing you to go in for a kiss close before it's too late. Whenever a woman puts up resistance, barring outright rejection, it's vital to play the mail card acting like they're speaking a foreign language when they show a lack of interest. The slightest hint of weakness or apology, and you'll never succeed. The key is to treat sex not as a favor to you, but as a gift to the woman you're trying to seduce. You're doing this not to get off, but to feel accepted. It's what everyone wants. Isolate the target. Once Strauss got on board with this philosophy and incorporated it into his thinking, it was time for him to kick it up a notch. One night at a VIP nightclub, two platinum blondes walked in, clearly there looking for men. After a couple of other seducers in his new circle failed, Strauss was ready. Knowing this would take everything he had, he began his studied dance to get them interested by acting differently from every other guy in the room. He followed the golden rule of taking two steps forward and one step back, and taking chances here and there with his words in the hopes of breaking through their wall of resistance. Eventually, one of the women responded positively to his advances. After making out carefully, he left that club with interest throbbing in her heart. This would never have been possible had he not taken the woman aside and continued his game. Knowing when to do so was his make-or-break moment. Create an emotional connection Capitalizing on IOIs is only possible when making an emotional connection. The success and extent of that connection depends entirely on you. As Strauss progressed in his game, he learned that interest was sometimes buried behind obvious distance or discomfort. Most likely, every woman he was interested in had been approached by any number of unconfident men who had no game whatsoever. By showing them he was different from the rest, he was primed to make a true emotional connection. To do so, he had to understand when to talk and when to listen, when to be negative and when to be affirmative, and when to joke around, and when to be serious. By reading every movement and responding accordingly, the goal was becoming more than sex. It was validation. Extract to a seduction location. Once you've established genuine interest and rapport, it's time to move on to a seduction location. Doing this requires a firm establishment of trust and mutual interest. You're not out to add another tally to your conquest wall but to make sure that both parties are getting what they want. Any whiff of danger or harm, and you move on. Rather she ends up at your place or you at hers, always be the one who sets the parameters. As you work your way slowly into a sexual encounter, strategically talk about how little time you have while ironically objecting to going so fast. This will steal her frame of reference and put you in the driver's seat. Make a physical connection. As with everything in the seduction process, a physical connection must be built in stages. No woman wants to jump immediately into sex, but desires a slow progression of interest and attraction. Doing so physically requires the emotional connection already discussed. With that connection in place, you can make your move. 
Again, be strategic. Tell her she smells good, get closer, and begin with small nibbles here and there before moving on to a kiss. By building anticipation, you'll make the experience better for both of you. Blast last-minute resistance. Resistance goes both ways. The woman you're chatting up may not seem interested, and you may not feel anything in return. Even if there's a clear physical attraction, it means nothing without the connections you've worked hard to build. To overcome this, find something in common. At the end of the day, no one wants cheap sex for the mere sake of it. People are hardwired for meaningful connections, and without something to share beyond the physical, there's little reason to go there. No matter how good your game is, remind yourself that you aren't a hunter. Rather, you're someone open to a sexual experience that will be beneficial to both, if not more, as the case might be, of you. Manage Expectations What Strauss discovered through his experience is that upping your game in the sexual arena comes with emotional consequences. As exciting as it might be at first, there will come a point where the possibility of a long-term relationship will enter your mind, or possibly the mind of the woman you're sleeping with. If you're both clear about expectations and agree to the terms, then nothing more needs to be done. But when expectations are imbalanced, reassessment is in order. For Strauss, the only way out was to quit while he was ahead. And that he did, leaving behind a legendary streak of encounters that shook the pickup community from within. Conclusion With that in mind, let us revisit the 10 steps of seduction. 1. Select a target. 2. Approach and open. 3. Demonstrate value. 4. Disarm the obstacles. 5. Isolate the target. 6. Create an emotional connection. 7. Extract to a seduction location. 8. Make a physical connection. 9. Blast last-minute resistance. 10. Manage expectations. And remember, the importance of that last point. Without it, you might find yourself lost in a fantasy. About Neil Strauss Neil Strauss writes regularly for Rolling Stone and has co-authored a handful of New York Times bestsellers, including Motley Crue's The Dirt, The Long Hard Road Out of Hell with Marilyn Manson, and How to Make Love Like a Porn Star with Jenna Jameson. Thank you for listening to the snapshot of The Game by Neil Strauss. If you liked what you heard, then make sure to explore the rest of our Snapshot library to continue gaining key insights from nonfiction books in a matter of minutes. Thank you for listening to our quick learning audiobook review series. If you like what you heard, then check out our channel for more free audiobook reviews. We post new audiobooks every week. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to be first to hear of our latest reviews.